Hello and welcome to another video from the series Sites to Practice Test Automation. In this one, you've guessed it, we're going to have a look at sites where you can practice end-to-end -end testing. Until this point, we, you've seen sites where you can practice um, element locators, where you can practice security, where you can practice API testing. And a really good way to put them all together is to do some end-to-end -end scenarios. I mean, you could try, for example, if you are eager to travel, you could try to automate some sites like this Airbnb. Um, however, this might become kind of expensive because, I mean, this is a real site. And if you want to do a booking, then you actually have to pay. And you don't have to do that. Don't worry. I'm going to show you a few alternatives in this video that would be more than enough to have diversity in your tests and to be able to write from simple to more complex end-to-end -end scenarios. The first one is this XYZ Bank application. And you have, from the beginning, a couple of options. So you can either log in as a customer or as a bank manager. As a customer, you can select your name. Let's see, you're Harry Potter, you're rich. You have some transactions here. You can do a deposit. And let's see if we, we can withdraw a lot of money. We cannot because we don't have that much. Perfect. We can log out, go to home, go to bank manager. We can add customers. We can open accounts. We can view our customers and we can even delete the customers. So this may seem a little bit old school from the design, but it does provide you with a lot of end-to-end -end scenarios, which you can automate step by step. And don't worry, this is the easiest one and the most um, old school from a design perspective. Next on the list, we have the um, My Store automation practice. So this one is definitely more complex. This one does resemble some um, shops which, where you might uh, browse and, and buy um, clothes. So you have mostly uh, women clothes, uh, but as you can see, it's already more complex than the other ones. So you can have a lot of options here, which you can uh, filter upon. And once you have something that you like, you can add it to the cart. You can proceed to the checkout. And of course, here you will need to have an account. You can make a dummy account. And this does really a really good job of simulating the whole process. Next one on the list um, is, again, a shopping application. But here you have two choices. You can either download it um, via the Git repo. So you can copy, the, you can fork the repo and install it on your own machine. Or you have the URL for, for the application. And here we have the sizes. You have a sorting, you have again um, an add to cart. You see the total changes. You can modify this. You can check out. This one is doesn't have the um, user, so you don't need to create a user here but it does provide other advantages. I mean, this one being a React application, you can also check uh, how it looks on a smaller screen. You can, uh, well, you can check for some more React specific tests or more modern site tests. Don't worry, I'll put all of the links in the video description. And as always, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.